My name is Elaine, and I'm an educator here at the California Science Center. We are a free, nonprofit museum in Los Angeles, California, in Exposition Park. I am here in our Air and Space Gallery to explore something we experience every day, light. When we think of light, we may think of something like a light bulb, but there are many different types of light. All light moves in waves. Some light moves in fast waves with short wavelengths, and some light moves slowly with long wavelengths. Differences in speed cause the different types of light. For example, fast short waves create light we see as purple, and long slow waves create light we see as the color red. But there are even more types of light laid out here in what we call the electromagnetic spectrum. All of these types of light have different purposes in different types of spacecraft. The James Webb Telescope will use radio waves to send information back to Earth. It will use infrared waves to pick up distant celestial events with its detectors. It will use this type of light to see details in stars and celestial events to possibly give us new information. Let's find out more about how the James Webb Telescope will use infrared light. Hi, my name is Shajia, and I'm a systems engineer on the James Webb Space Telescope. Do you know how old the universe is? Based on data collected from the Planck spacecraft, scientists estimate our universe to be 13.8 billion years old. As the universe expands, so does light. The light traveling from the first stars and galaxies becomes redshifted, meaning that the light waves are stretched and move into the red part of the light spectrum. To detect this faint light, we need an infrared telescope. While Hubble observes light primarily in the visible part of the spectrum, with some near-infrared capability, Webb will observe light in the infrared. It is a time machine. With its advanced technology, it will be able to peer back over 13 and a half billion years to when the first stars and galaxies formed and capture the baby pictures of our universe. Webb is equipped with a large six and a half meter diameter mirror composed of 18 individual hexagonal pieces coated with gold to improve the reflection of infrared light. A large mirror helps collect more light, therefore producing more detailed images. Webb will unlock the mysteries of our universe and discover our origin story with the help of four science instruments, the NIRCAM, the NIRSPEC, MIRI, and NIRIS. Together, these instruments will help us understand how galaxies formed and evolved over billions of years, peered through clouds of dust that are impenetrable to visible light observatories such as Hubble, to observe stellar nurseries where new stars and planetary systems are formed, study the atmosphere and learn about the physical properties of exoplanets in an effort to find a planet similar to our home, Earth, and discover the first light of our universe. Wow, thank you Shijia for that awesome information. Here on Earth, we can experience different wavelengths of light too. I have these different filters that change how we see the light around us. Let's see how the Science Center looks through these filters. try. Take a walk through your home or neighborhood and look through different filters to see how things look. Don't have a filter at home? Try making your own. All you need is two or more clear cups, some water, two colors of food coloring, and something to stir with. 
Fill the cups about halfway with water. Add a few drops of food coloring to each cup and stir. Look through the water at different drawings, printed pictures, or anything else you find. Thanks for exploring different types of light with me. We hope you can come visit us in person soon. Enjoyed this video? Visit our website at www.californiasciencecenter.org for more free and fun hands-on activities and content.